my day today watching all of the January 6th footage that Tucker Carlson has shown this week. All of the new footage that we've never seen before. And? And you would be shocked, Alex, at how little time that takes. Uh, you would be. <laughs> and, um, all right, I'm going to tip it. I'm going to tip it right here. It's, it's right in the middle of what I have to say here, but I'm just going to give it away right here. The entirety, the entirety of the new video that we've never seen before, that Tucker Carlson has shown, is less than four minutes. <laughs> less than four minutes. I did the work. I did the hard work of watching you it all. You did the big lift watched it for all, all of us. Well, yes. In fact, watched it more than once, just, just, just to be sure. Yeah. yeah, four minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lawrence, I'm going to learn about what was in those precious four minutes on your television program. Yeah, I have a little more to say about that. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Have a great show. Thank you. Well, on January 6th, late at night, after the Trump violent mob attacked the Capitol, Tucker Carlson said, Donald Trump is a demonic force. That is what he said that night mm -hmm. in text messages revealed in the Dominion Voting Systems lawsuit against Fox, we now know that in the dark of night on January 6th, Tucker Carlson said something about Donald Trump because of the attack on the Capitol that Tucker Carlson has never, ever, ever dared to say to his audience on TV. Tucker Carlson said about Donald Trump that night, He's a demonic force, a destroyer. Tucker Carlson knew that these text messages, those exact words, were going to be revealed to us this week. Tucker Carlson, like everyone else at Fox, knew this was coming, and they knew exactly when it was coming. The Dominion Voting Systems Company has used subpoena power to obtain Tucker Carlson's text messages and his emails and Rupert Murdoch's text messages and his emails, along with the text messages and emails of everyone working at Fox. Dominion Voting Systems Company has forced Tucker Carlson, very much against his will, to testify under oath in a deposition about the lies that he and Rupert Murdoch and everyone at Fox pushed about the 2020 presidential election and in particular about the Dominion voting systems. When you're in civil litigation like this, you get subpoenas that require you to produce documents and records in a few weeks on a particular day, or to show up to testify at a deposition at a very specific time in a couple of weeks usually. You always know what's coming in civil litigation and you always know when the transcript of your under oath deposition is going to be made public. There are no surprises on the calendar of civil litigation. It is a slow but sure and predictable assembly line of fact collecting. The Dominion Voting Systems Company has revealed everything that we've been learning this week in a brief that everyone involved in the litigation, everyone at Fox knew was due to be filed in court this week. And because Rupert Murdoch and Tucker Carlson knew exactly how they would both be exposed this week, because Tucker Carlson knew that he was going to be exposed, as he was last night on this program, for describing himself in writing as paranoid and crazy, those were his words, those were the words Tucker Carlson used to describe himself, because Tucker Carlson knew that by 10 p.m. last night, he would be revealed on this program to have said, I hate him passionately about Donald Trump two days before the Trump bomb attack the Capitol because Tucker Carlson knew all of this was coming out this week. He and Rupert Murdoch came up with something, something to talk about this week on Tucker Carlson's show since everyone at Fox is terrified of saying a single public word now about the biggest news story that has ever engulfed Fox, including the sex crimes of Roger Ailes, who used to run the place, the sex crimes that forced him out of his job, and the sexual assaults in the workplace by Bill O'Reilly, who used to occupy Tucker Carlson's exact 
time slot at Fox. The only reason Tucker Carlson has a job tonight is that sexual predator Bill O'Reilly went down in flames at Fox, which at the time was the biggest damning story about Fox News in its history, a story that has been out there. Those stories are small and less damaging to Fox than the story we are covering this week. And like all stories that damage Fox, Fox does not breathe a word of it to their audience. What Tucker Carlson found to talk about this week and to lie about this week was the January 6th attack on the Capitol, thanks to Republican Speaker Kevin McCarthy doing something that's never happened before in Washington history, handing over 40,000 hours of Capitol Police surveillance video of the Capitol campus, which includes seven different buildings, including the Capitol. All of that to one person, to Tucker Carlson. Person. Kevin McCarthy could have released that video to all major news organizations, but instead he chose Tucker Carlson and only Tucker Carlson to get those videos. And so this week, Tucker Carlson has shown his audience what he found in that video. He showed video that we've never seen before, in which none of the people inside the Capitol in those videos, all of whom were committing a crime just by being in the Capitol, they committed a crime by climbing over that fence that was blocking the Capitol that day. And then they committed another crime by entering the Capitol building itself. So every one of those people in the video that Tucker Carlson says is innocent, every one of them is guilty of a crime in that video, but they are not beating police officers in the video that Tucker Carlson showed, even though they were still committing crimes then. And as I just told Alex, the total amount of new video that we've never seen before, Tucker Carlson showed on his program for the last couple of nights this week, has amounted to less than four minutes. That is less than four minutes out of over 40,000 hours of video and nothing Nothing in the four minutes that Tucker Carlson has shown has told us something that we did not already know. Nothing. Four minutes. In the same shows where Tucker Carlson has been exhibiting these videos, Tucker Carlson gave much more time to this guy to talk about his spiritual awakening. Seriously, Russell Brand got more time on Carcer Tucker Carlson's show for the last two nights than the entire 40,000 hours of video that Kevin McCarthy gave to Tucker Carlson. And that's because Tucker Carlson found nothing in the 40,000 hours of video that contradicts anything that we already know are the facts of what happened on January 6th. For the first time in their political careers, Republicans in Washington have found something to criticize on Fox, thanks to Tucker Carlson's lying presentation of less than four minutes of video, which Tucker Carlson has exhibited. After Mitch McConnell criticized Tucker Carlson yesterday for showing that video and lying about what happened at the Capitol, Tucker Carlson said this last night. Why is the New York Times doing like a nine-part series on how Mitch McConnell got so much money from China? They would never do that because he's on their side. <laughs> it's so great. Unlike Tucker Carlson, I don't know who the demonic forces are in the world. I don't know how they laugh. But I would imagine it's something like that. <laughs> Tucker Carlson is spending the week lying to his audience that the people attacking the Capitol are sightseers, that's his word. 